Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Peshawar, which is an ancient city in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province of Pakistan. Uh, this is a city that I, one of, one of the cities I most wanted to visit in Pakistan because they're known for their food culture. It's an ancient city. Um, and so today we're gonna go on a food tour of Peshawar, uh, eat a lot of street food. We're gonna ex explore the ancient markets and traders. Um, and so it's gonna be a full tour of Peshawar. Uh, we are gonna start for breakfast and I'm gonna share all the food with you in this video today right now. Hello, good morning. How are you? We're at the Hashnagri Gate in the old ancient city of Peshawar. Um, and this is where we're gonna have breakfast. This is, we're just gonna walk around for a little bit. It's just have a quick halwa puri here. Okay. And then the place which is for the paya is, uh, is you know, just five, seven minutes away. Yes, Quite a bustling stall here. They're flying on the puris, but they're deep frying the puris. This place is known for their halwa puri. And yeah, it's pretty, very well known actually. It's in the morning. So there's always three components to this dish. The puri, which is the fried dough, the halwa, which is the sweet semolina pudding, and then the chana, which is the chana masala, which is the chickpea stew. Oh yeah, conditions are a little bit tight in here. But I'm gonna grab one of the puri. I'm gonna start with the, the chana, the chickpeas. Oh, the chickpeas are amazing here. Some of the chickpeas have disintegrated into the sauce, but others are still remaining whole. It's so flavorful. You can taste that desi ghee. This is the halwa made from the semolina and also desi ghee, and it has kind of an orange color to it. Yeah, it's like a pudding. Um, it's less grainy than other versions that I've heard as well. Sweet. But I prefer the, I prefer the chickpea. Some of the better chickpeas I've had. It's a small little golf ball, flattened golf ball sized sweet puri. Oh yeah, like a little pastry cake. Breakfast was good. It's a little bit on the oily side to get the morning started, but it is, uh, especially like the chickpea curry. Uh, we're gonna move on now to eat another breakfast dish that you cannot miss when you're in Peshawar. The place is called Nika Pai. These are legendary. Nika Pai. Nika and a pie. very famous pie in Peshawar. Oh, yes. Okay, this is the, this is gonna be the real breakfast and you can already smell the meatiness of it. Assalamu alaikum. Has to be one of the coolest stalls I've ever seen. Oh, that's the meat. <laughs> First he grabs fishes out some of the meat and some of the trotters. He kind of scoops that around puts it into your bowl, um, and then he reaches into the giant tilted pot, uh, clay pot, and fishes out some of the soup, um, and then puts that on top, and then finally finishes off with some desi ghee, which is looks like it's infused with chilies and oil and spices. It looks so rich, so comforting and warm. One of the more beautiful looking red oily dishes I have ever seen in my life, and you can just see the meat. It's just, it's just ultra falling apart. So you've got the combination, it's like 50% of the, the cow foot, which has just been rendered down into just gelatinous floppiness, um, and then 50% of the meat, which is just, it, it just looks like stringy, stringy fall apart tender. Oh, it's just, you can't even, it's so tender. And just dripping with the, the desi ghee and that spice. Look at that meat. Okay, I didn't even get any of the trotter on my first bite, but that's just the, the meat. Look at that. Oh, the garlic in there. You really taste the garlic. That's so rich. It's so oily. And that meat is so tender. It's just like all oozy, goozy things all together in one single bowl. That you can tell it's just been stewed for so many hours until it just completely harmonizes together. And then just wrapped up in more, just like liquid, 
liquid meat that's gonna be jiggly. Whoa. The liquid collagen. That trotter, it's just, I mean, that's the skin and fat combined. But it's so soft, it just melts in your mouth. But you've got every kind of like oozy, gelatinous, like jelly texture in your mouth all at the same time. I always used to think that Lahore has the best payas, but I think Shower has even better payas than Lahore. Look at that chunk. Look at that chunk I just pulled out. Oh, and you got things that hang, just gelatinous bits that just can't control themselves. It's like one of the richest, like, but most flavorful dishes. I've ever had it, and that's just like pure glorification of meat. Another thing that you'll notice is that the bread here, the tandoori roti, is thicker than most versions that you'll have, and that's because you actually need it. It helps because you have to mop up all of that, all of that ghee, all of the the oil, all of the fats, all of the gelatiny trotters. You got to mop that all up with the bread, and so you have to have that thick spongy bread. It's a tradition to drink green tea in Peshawar also. You'll see green tea all over. I'm sure we'll be drinking more green tea today. And what's great about it though is that it's not just green tea. They also crush a few pods of cardamom and boil that within the tea so you've got that essence of cardamom. Shukriya. That was amazing. Oh, shukriya. Shukriya. One of the top dishes that I've eaten so far in Pakistan. The garlickiness really stood out to me and then just the, the ac I mean the trotter was great because it was so soft and oozy but the actual meat is what I enjoyed the most. From here we're off to just walk around the historical center of Peshawar. It's an ancient city and this was a this was an important marketplace uh, but has now been restored. It's actually quite like kind of calm and calm and peaceful here today. Nice to meet you. We made it to the clock tower, which is a landmark. And the clock tower was built in the year 1900 by the British uh, to celebrate the Queen Jubilee. I've got just half the half my butt on the seat, so you kinda gotta balance here. Uh, but we're gonna go to the other side of the old city, the old city, uh, because we're, there's a very iconic and very ancient mosque that we're gonna check out. Everyone's in the back. Hello, Micah. Micah, hello. I've got a game. Wow, that was a sharp turn. Okay, we're heading down an alley. Whoa. kind of rattled around those trotters in my stomach. Um, we have just arrived. This is uh, Masjid Mohammed Khan, uh, located in uh, Andar Shehar. It's ah, basically okay. the old city of Peshawar. And this is an ancient, an ancient mosque in Peshawar. Wow. Okay, step inside of here. It's just this calm courtyard, the marble floors. And what's really fascinating is the front Ah, uh, the front of the mosque with the minarets and the, just the detail and the, the doors. So everything is white, but then the doors, they have some blue, blue tiles in them. It just feels like you've taken a step back in time here. Okay, so we've walked over to what is, in, in English it's the Storyteller's Bazaar, but in Isakwani Bazaar. Isakwani. It's called Isakwani Bazaar, which is famous for storytelling. Since since ancient times, this is a market, this is a bazaar area where people would, traders would come, especially along the Silk Road, right? They would share their stories, drink tea. Green tea, um, kewa. Green tea, which is called kewa. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk through the bazaar, we're gonna have some green tea. And yeah, very cool history, very cool place. Just stepping down this alley, maybe it's gonna lead to another street. It's kind of mysterious. Assalamu alaikum.
Oh, the green tea. The key ingredient that you have to have with green tea when you're in this region is cardamom. Uh, so he has a little mortar and pestle. He crushes the cardamom to release that flavor, plops it into your tea, lets it boil and simmer. Um, it's gonna be really nice. Oh, he's pouring it. Okay, we better get there. This is just an open floor space area, uh, but people used to get tea, uh, drink tea, tell stories, just hang out. Cheers. Cheers, man. Oh, it's so good. Just that pure, I mean, it's just so freshly boiled. But the cardamom, that's, that's what really makes the difference, yeah. And part of the entire experience is watching them make it because that's such a unique way to make the tea. It's, it's really, I mean, and just the ancient tea kettles. I'm sure that makes a difference with the taste of the tea. Thank you. Shukriya. Shukriya. Wow, that was great. Most people in Peshawar speak a language called Pashto. Um, and the, the name of the dish that we're about to go eat is called it's Mazda, basically, uh, prim, and uh, in Urdu you call it magas. Oh, in Urdu it's magas, yeah, so and it's in Pashto, brain masala. Brain masala. In Pashto, it's called Mazda. That's what we're gonna eat next because we just saw a man who is selling it right up here. He's gonna make it fresh. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah brains, man. This is buffalo's brain. Buffalo brain. Yeah. Nice. We saw the plate of brains and we just could not pass by him without ordering a plate of brains. It's like scrambled brains masala. It's got some fresh tandoori roti. That's sensational. The brain is so creamy and like mashed up scrambled. You've got the tomatoes, the garlic, and the coriander and there really comes in nicely. Wow, that is impressive. And fried so fresh and hot. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, next up I'm gonna try some of that chutney. I'll touch the bread with the chutney. It's like a tomatoey chutney and then grab some of the, after that grab some of the, the brains. It's okay to do it like this? That's the pump? That's the way you do it? Okay. Yes. That is amazing. And then with that chutney, that like adds the a cooling, refreshing element to it. What I really like is the the freshness of the chilies and the coriander in there. <laughs> mm. Okay, I could understand a Peshwari man thinking of this, dreaming of this in the winter. <laughs> oh wow! This is amazing. That would have been a regret if I had not tested this thing. <laughs> yeah, you amazing. would have regretted it. Full mass. Unbelievably good. Like the brain literally just melted into that sauce and masala and desi ghee. He's a master, a master of brains masala. And that entire brains fry cost just 90 rupees. So that's like, I think it's like a, right at the moment 122 or so to the dollar. So that's like. It's like 75 cents yeah. for that plate. Yeah. Wow. What a spot. What a dish. I'm not I'm not surprised it was awesome, but man, it was awesome. That, <laughs> that yeah. was so awesome. So much brain. Ah, cap. Cap. You want to try one? Oh, nice. Good. Hey Joe. Nice. I like that. I like that. Um, <laughs> That design. You look that like print. a local. We have loved Peshawar so much. We have decided to look like locals. Yeah. yeah. Yo, 
Jong Blood. Assalamu alaikum. So frothy. It's so. Look at that. Just there's no sugar or anything in this. Just purely squeezed uh, pomegranate seeds. Oh, oh, that's incredible. Naturally sweet. You've got that sourness of the froth. Oh man. I've never had that good of pomegranate juice. It's almost banana-y and like the perfect tartness and sweetness. It looks like an orange, you know, and it's obviously a citrus, but that flavor is incredible. And it is, at first taste, obviously, it's not an orange. It's like lime, like a, like, like the father of lime, basically. It's a mamang in English, I believe, or something along those lines, um, and he just freshly squeezed it. Mm. Mm. To me, it's more lemony, but not really lemony either. You can taste the bitter pith flavor of it, like a lemon. Okay. Oh. The next place we're stopping on this ultimate food tour of Peshawar is to eat Peshawari Pulau. And Pulau is very famous in this region. Uh, it's a rice dish. You can smell the spices. There's chickpeas in it. There's raisins. There's chunks of meat. They actually, I think they make it in that in that big uh, pot there. They, they, they cook it in the pot and then when they serve it, they put it into this big metal serving bowl. Okay, great. Just got some low stools to sit on. I'm gonna put the put it onto a little stool. And then you can see he got some meat in there. There's some chickpeas. You can see the spices as well in there. Right out of the pot. The like the raisins or the sultans, they just provide enough sweet and tartness to contrast the saltiness of the rice and meat. Really light, really like really aromatic. And that beef in there is so good and just like a hint of black pepper taste in there as well. That tops any Sunday roast I've ever had. That, that is comfort food. Yeah, this is good. Mm. Directly outside from where we just ate the pulao, there's a man who's selling two different dishes. The main pot is lassi, the other is sag. So he has a pot of sag, which is a, it's a, like a wild spinach. He topped it with chili flakes. He serves you the sag in a little bowl with a, a unique type of bread I haven't seen before. And then he whips up your lassi. <laughs> Oh. And serves it to you in like a a metal bowl. Oh wow. That is so cool and refreshing. That's like buttermilk, frothy too. Oh yeah, that's great. Tastes like liquid cottage cheese. So try that. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, it smells it smells cheesy. Nice. I was expecting it to be at least a bit sweet. It's not sweet at all. Yeah, that's great. Okay, next I'm gonna try some of that sag. And that's like, yeah, that's a really thick bread. It's like, it's a cornbread. Okay, grab a bite of this. Oh, and it doesn't feel buttery. It doesn't feel like, there, it doesn't feel like there's desi ghee in it. It feels more like watery. Very nice. So that's just like pure. You just taste like the spinach and then the dry chilies in there. Really healthy tasting. Mmm. So healthy tasting. So healthy. So nice. Very nice. Mm hmm And the spice just kicks in a bit late. Yeah. But yeah. That's a good aftertaste. Oh, see, that's what I'm huh? Wow. That's just like the pure lassi. Just straight, like, drinkable cheese. <laughs> yeah. And just look at this, look at this scene. We're just, we are on the side of the road. 
There's just people all around surrounding us. Man, the people here are so nice, so friendly. They've welcomed us in. You from Thailand? Thailand. Thailand, yes. Thank you very much. Peshawar is what a city it is. What a city. <laughs> bye bye. We've arrived to an area called Namak Mandi. So Ali was just explaining to me that Namak means salt, Mandi means market or bazaar. Uh, so this is probably, I mean, it, it definitely has history as being a salt trading area. They're known for their meat in Peshawar in this entire region. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. This is the main one. This is the, the legendary spot. The animals are just hanging out here. Literally hanging out. So we will choose the portion of meat which we want to ah, have okay. and they will cut it in front of us. So you choose your chunk of lamb and we're going to get a couple of different dishes. I know we're going to get some stuff on the grill and then also a karahi with is the, the rounded skillet pan. They call us other skewers. skewers. And they're also making the karahis in the front here, but look at this chicken display. It's 360. Oh, I just bumped into a car. A 360 chicken rotation around a barrel. Oh, that's amazing. So he's making the lamb karahi here. You can see there's tomatoes going in here and just the fat is just sizzling out into oil. Oh, here comes in some chilies. Okay. Oh wow, that looks and smells incredible. It's just like, it just sizzles in its own fat. Oh, the tomatoes, yeah? Let me walk past the duck underneath the chicken 360 chicken formation again. Uh, but we have put in our order for the karahi and the grill. Uh, and that's going to take about an hour to cook because it has to cook till it's really tender. So in the meantime, we're going to go over to this very well-known place for the local sandals, which are called the chap chapli chapla. Yeah, this place is, uh, this, they make peshawari chapels. Chappals. Shavri Chappals, Chappals have been okay. famous for long, but this specific shop is famous because Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, he got a chappal design for himself here and he buys from this shop. Captain Chappals. Yeah. So that's the next, the next fashion accessory that we need to, <laughs> we need to get. Now a, uh, this chappal is now a brand. Yeah. And there's a cool. story behind this chappal. Uh, when the Prime Minister of Pakistan wanted a chappal, he asked some of his friends in Peshawar to get him a chappal that is a thicker sole. Ah. So the guy came here and asked the shopkeeper to make a chappal with slightly thicker sole. Wow, cool. But the shopkeeper ended up making a chappal with too thick a sole. <laughs> so he told the guy that I have made a mistake. That sole has become too thick. So they said let's, let's might as well just take the chappal to the Prime Minister. Well, who knows he likes it. So when they took the chappal to the Prime Minister and he was like wow this is so good. <laughs> okay cool. A world famous cricketer. Oh yeah. And this okay. is Prime Minister of Pakistan. This is the Prime Minister of Pakistan. You can see the Prime Minister picture over yes. there. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. US. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. They make everything by hand in this little shop. Um, oh, I thought that was a stool, but that's a giant battery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And this is very, very cool. This is the extra thick sole. This is the Prime Minister's one? This is the Prime oh, Minister's extra thick sole. Extra thick sole, yeah. And look at his feet. It's, That's like a... It's light. <laughs> Too light. What a sandal. Yeah. yeah. Try this on. Oh yeah, I think this one is a little bit small. Sandal. I've never done this much sandal shopping in my life. I think I've decided on these. What do you think about these? These are awesome. I even took off my socks. Yeah, these are the ones right here. Immediately you can feel the airflow, the airflow in these sandals, right? You can really feel the airflow. The toes, the toes have chilled out to a new level. I hope people in Bangkok will love these shoes. Oh yeah. And they'll ask you. They're so comfortable. About, this, they're extremely comfortable. Very foamy, very cushioned. They have a great cushion. The Dumba Karahi will be ready. The Dumba Karahi will be ready. From head to toe, we are the Peshawari boys now. The Peshawari boys. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're sitting in this section. We got like a whole booth uh, with a carpet, and there the meat should be ready. We got two different dishes. They prepared the lamb two different ways. One is the karahi with all the spices and the tomato sauce. One is the grill. So those go some like, like the rib sections that have just been grilled up. Yeah, or the ultimate, 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 like the yeah. ultimate <laughs> position for eating. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this one, the grilled one is called the tikka. Um, and yeah, these are lamb chops. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. It just fell off. Oh. It's just everything you want in a lamb chop. It's so tender. I mean, I think it's mostly just salt. There's not like a marinade of spices. It's just like the pure meat roasted over charcoal. The dumba karahi, lamb karahi. Um, and there's, yeah, you can see how they just reduce it. They reduce it. They keep on cooking it until it reduces into a thick sauce. <laughs> the karahi does it again. This one is very tomatoey, and you've got just big chunks of lamb in there. You can really taste the green chilies in there too. Follow that with a spoonful of raita, which is the yogurt infused with coriander. Mm. Mm. Oh, like the dill flavor in that raita. That completes the experience in your mouth. And not to mention both dishes complement each other so well. Oh, is that some raita on my chin? And once again got some Peshawari green tea to finish off the meal. Oh, it's hot. Oh, the cardamom is always so nice. It always just hits the spot. And actually this is going to be the end of the meal. This is going to be the final meal of this tour of Peshawar. Uh, from here we got to move on. What a day it has been in Peshawar. It is time to utilize the cushion. Oh. <laughs> this is my signature position. So your signature position is like <laughs> is like this. <laughs> This has been one of the greatest cities that we visited in Pakistan. The culture, the ancient streets, the action, the colors and the energy and the people that we've interacted with has been amazing and this has been some of the best food. I, I mean Peshawar, I wanted specifically wanted to visit Peshawar because the food is so uh, well known throughout all of Pakistan. So I want to say a huge thank you to Wakas. Uh, he was, uh, he's, he's local from here, he's brought us around and he did a lot of planning for us and also to Ali for arranging everything entire, including our entire trip to Pakistan. So I'll have their links in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video. Oh, Peshawar, you were great. Peshawar. 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 Peshaw